Hello fellow makers. So I'm playing around with my Electrix Cubot and I wanted to show adding on extra things because it has that capability. Um, so obviously, you know, here's the distance sensor. It's got set to plug in up there. Right behind it, I could plug in an I squared C device. In between the battery pack, I could squeeze in another I squared C device. Um, but on the back end of it, I can do two servos or and um, two just anything else, two pins. So I've got some extra NeoPixels here. Um, I could plug in you know, a button attachment to it. Um, you know, just think of whatever else you would add to uh, devices. Uh, a different sensor, uh, like an infrared sensor maybe, instead of um, the ultrasonic. Uh, things, to, things to play with, right? Um, so the only thing I have to pay attention to with my NeoPixels is I get the right color to the right thing. So I've got white is my no let's see my signal is green my power is yellow and my ground is blue okay so i'm going to plug those into pin one they're labeled on there really very nicely and again it also comes with nemo pixels on the bottom so i gotta you know i gotta know that and uh that's, that's how i plug it in boom that's it and I was thinking maybe like this could be a float and I could be building around it and I'd want to add some more NeoPixels around the float kind of thing, not just the, the headlights I could play with or these two NeoPixels underneath I could play with. Color. I like color. I like flashing color. Um, so let's go with the code. So now if I just want to run those NeoPixels, I don't need a CuteBot extension, but I would need a NeoPixel extension. But, you know, let's play with... The, what the QBot can do too, because the QBot's going to bring in the NeoPixel extension. Okay, so there's the NeoPixels. So again, when you play with NeoPixels, you have to tell the computer, I've got NeoPixels. I put those on pin one, and there are 30 of them. You got to tell it that. Um, hey, let's just, and I'll, I'll, it's a strip, so I'll call it a strip. Now, there's also some underneath lights on there, um, on the Cupop. So let's do that. And they say they are on pin 15. It's actually written right next to them. So I'm going to do that. Um, okay. And actually, let's turn those on. Let's turn those underneath on from the beginning. Uh, so i got to set underneath. I don't know. Let's just pick yellow. Okay. And also, let's let's show rainbow. I love rainbow because rainbow. I'm going to do something here. It kind of needs rainbow, and I'm going to set the strip to rainbow. Okay. So you know these should be um, yellow. I don't know why they're not yellow right now. And this is going to be rainbow. Um, so here we go. Um, I want a if if I press button A, do something. So there's if, where's my input? Input, if I press button A, do something. And what I want it to do, we gotta go to NeoPixel, I want it to rotate my pixels. It just means shift them. Um, now, important thing about NeoPixels, you also have to show. Notice in here it says show rainbow, it doesn't just say set rainbow. Um, so I can rotate, but if I don't show them, it's not going to see anything. And then I want to do, what if I press button B? So if I press button B, let's shift my pixels by negative one. Uh, you can do pick any number, um, like making it jump in chunks kind of thing, if you had it you know, set for chunks of color. Because you can, you can um, individually set the color of every NeoPixel. Or you can also divide it in chunks. Like I could take those 30 NeoPixels and set them into chunks, um, and that would be range. I set it in, and that's a variable. It's just, I, I call it, you can call it whatever you want. It's called range right now. Um, set my range on my strip from zero to four LEDs. Well, I could go zero, start at zero, go 10 LEDs, and then go 10 and go 10 more LEDs, and then go 20 and go, you know, 10 more LEDs kind of thing. And I could have three chunks of, uh, and I have to name them all different variables. They couldn't all be called range. 
Okay, be you know, group one, group two, group three. So that's the NeoPixels for you. Um, let's just try this. Let's see what this one does. Oh, I didn't turn any headlights on. Let's turn some headlights on before I put the code in. I got the CubeBot app stuff out. I should put some headlights on. All right, let's set some headlights on. I don't know. That sounds good. Let's see what that color. I don't know. Just just using code. All right, let's download that code, and then let's come over to uh, camera. Plug it in. Turn it on. We got that that light blue. We got yellow underneath. Kind of hard to tell. And I've got the rainbow here. Now, if I press button A, it does rainbow, but it doesn't do it forever because it just does it, you know, like while I've got button A pressed. So, you know, that's the that's because that's in an if block. If I press A, do this, and then once it gets out of that if block, um, once I let go of button A, it's not doing it right. So there's the logic. If you had thought these were going to keep going forever and ever, because they're in a forever, yes and no. They're in a forever, so it's forever looking for me to press button A. And whenever button A is pressed, it's going to rotate the NeoPixels. Now, you know what to expect now when I press button B, right? They just go the other way. So... So there's the idea of, you know, adding something onto the cute bot using those pins, that, the extra pins that it's got. Again, it's got two more pins. It's got two servos it can do. It's got two I squared C devices. And then, you know, it's got its headlight. It's got motors. It's got a distance sensor ready there. Um, standoffs that you can screw some standoffs into and build something around it. Um, neat little device for $30. Get one. Play with it. Bye.